Hey guys, right back out of here. We're uh, going to start working on that cast iron uh, door we're working on. Once I got a little bit of fresh yeast out of the, from the bakery. One of my favorite things to use. Dry yeast is okay, but uh, if you get the opportunity to use uh, fresh yeast, go for it. It's fabulous. Makes the best stuff ever. I know, doing it for 30 years, it's been a real pleasure. So I got my uh, my fresh yeast and just put a little bit of water here. And it doesn't really need to be emulsifying the water much because it's gonna fresh yeast is uh, just gonna break down really fast and easy. I'm right, gonna flour this baby and start uh, getting there. Okay, there the kitchen might look a bit of a chaos, but that's just what I do. I, I, Give her hell and make lots of stuff, get it going, and come back later and make it all sanitized and clean. So basically as I'm making my bread, I'm going to add a couple of flour at a time just to incorporate and just gently emulsify it all in there together. Make it all work really nice and uh, Slow process. I'll just get you guys up to where I'm gonna get the speed where I'm at. We're making a nice soft dough and then. Uh, just hey guys, it's working away, needing away. It's <laughs> like a little time to get some hard work. I'm gonna put a little bit of good music on the rumble music. I'll let you know this recipe I'm making here. I mentioned it's this cast iron uh, bread dough. It's um, my chef friend of mine who gave me this recipe. He said, you know, he said throw a bit of seasoning into it, some some fresh herbs, and throw some throw some parsley and then fresh dough, and uh, a little bit of egg in here, and uh, for some extra flavor and color. And uh, also put some salt. Oh, see, you might want to put some, some bran into it, but I don't carry bran. I should probably. But, uh, back in the good old days, we'd have that product all the time. <laughs> Not anymore. Not a... And other people out there who love their bread mix with them. Yeah. I love making bread dough. Just uh, good workout. Get the feel go, know your dough. That dough is made with some love. It's not just stirs the switch on side. <laughs> Turn my switch on. Yeah, I'll probably get another three, four more minutes of mixing here. And I think my tea biscuits are almost ready. Those lovely cheddar and parsley tea biscuits. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, guys, I'm going to get back to you a little bit. Hey, guys, my tea biscuits just came out of the oven looking pretty pretty fine and dandy. You got some nice golden on the bottom and some nice and melted on top. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be tasty for dinner tonight. Chef Pat here making some baklava. Started making this a couple weeks ago. Uh, I never realized what a good thing it is and so easy to make and uh, takes some serious work. Uh, no doubt about that. Uh, not life is easy, but uh, that's the hard things in life. The things that make it work make you appreciate it. So, this recipe of baklava here, you have uh, sugar and water, lemon juice, and honey. Today I'm going to make a double recipe because I probably don't want to make, a, make it enough time to so uh, so let's get busy and just go crazy. So what I'm making here, like I say, is the uh, 
honey sugar lemon juice um, water. I'm going to cook this up and it's going to be a, a stock that's going to go over top of the uh, of the baklava as soon as it comes out of the oven. After it's going to come out and be fried right away and as soon as you put it on you can hear that sizzle of the hot, hot baklava absorbing all the beautiful sweetness of this uh, syrup. Our walnuts. And, uh, you know baklava is a, it's a very simple recipe. Uh, this recipe requires, normal recipe requires about uh, one box of baklava. Or I should say few of them. Usually there's about 20 strips in there. In the, in the, I cut those in half and it makes a perfect size pan for me to make one bag because it needs to be 40 layers. Uh, 10 layers on the bottom, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, five and then uh, 10 on top with the uh, coke or the uh, one that's in between. So, hey there. Just uh, woke up my uh, walnuts here. Got my walnuts into my blender here. I'm going to pulverize them to a, a smaller meal so they're nice and ready to. Uh, Go to my bakava. I'm sure you guys what kind of consistency we're looking for. So it's just a nice and fine. Here, but I use the, uh, the simple syrup we'll make it up to put in this afterwards. So this recipe is really simple. It's, um, I guess, so I'm just incorporating my cinnamon to my walnuts. Uh, uh, She's ready to, ready to go. I'm going to have some fun. And the mark uh, the best to work with is at room temperature. If it's cold, you're going to get uh, cracking on you. And, uh, of course, you can't guarantee this stuff. But it's, uh, if you want to make it, have the best of it, you make it from fresh. Maybe I'll give it a try with this. You know, the last four batches I had, they were very nice. And then the batch before that, the last batch, like the very last batch, actually was cracking and splitting on the top. This is a big old pan, this is a big pan. Big modified pan I created uh, for my company. Making some larger tiramisu and uh, cheesecakes and some uh, sheet cakes. Smells wonderful. All that honey in there, that lemon. <laughs> oh. Smells fantastic. So I need to say bakaba is just a I'll start this out and I'll show you guys. I'll get you guys going where I'm at and then uh, I'll pause you guys out because it's, it's a takes quite a bit to brushing brushing painting, brushing painting, brushing painting. So, so I'm gonna brush nice and wet. This is the first for you and me. Um, uh, every time I made it, I made half the size. I went, today I'm gonna go crazy to make a large one. <laughs> See how that goes. Oh, uh, sometimes that's the hardest part about uh, feeling. I'm just trying to find the right edge is gonna peel off. Oh, look at that. All right, come on, let go. Let go. Next time we're gonna try making ourselves. Make our own feel like So 
So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the 10 layers of fuel dough, butter between each layer. And then I'm going to uh, get her, show you guys where I'm at here. I've got uh, 10 layers of uh, fuel dough with layers of butter, butter on the bottom and butter on top of the top of, top of that. Don't be faint and uh, don't be cheap on the butter. She's only going to be cheap on the butter. Don't be cheap on the butter. So this recipe calls for putting about uh, a few cloves of cup between each layer. I might have been a little short of my purchase of my ingredients from my wallet, so I'm going to be a little sparse in my, uh, my other ingredients for my uh, spraying out the uh, wallet on there. Now this part of a hard part I thought a couple of times work with this. And once you put that first layer of uh, phyllo dough onto the, the walnut crumb, it doesn't uh, want to stick to it. So you got to really be very careful applying your butter. It wants to push your, uh, your filler sheet all over the place. You have to get a couple layers on there. So gravity holds it in place. We don't have to get that far. <laughs> Stops moving on top of that layer of uh, walnut crumb. And it gets the sheer weight of butter holds it down. So today we're going to find out what's going to happen with my. Uh, Fido doesn't grow much, or it didn't expand much, I found. <clears throat> because the pan I'm using here, I decided to use a double double recipe, so it makes it twice the size. I've got the pan, so I'll make the larger size, but I don't, I don't know how much more butter might seep off the end. Not too much, I hope. So that's my second layer. So I'll get back to you in a little while and I'll, uh, I'll get this get to the end and we'll uh, keep going. Okay guys, I'm right back at her here. Uh, so I'm just put my last layer of uh, walnut on. Walnut cinnamon. Hello. Okay, we're now at it. So, uh, so we got our 40 layers. Actually, about 38 layers, but uh, close enough. Put a nice layer of butter on top, and now we're going to cut it. So now we cut it. I said, why are we cutting it beforehand? Because after she's baked, she doesn't cook very well. <laughs> but not that I found out so far. For baked goods, for cooking. I've cut these about, about an inch and three quarters apart. Now I'm going to cut a diagonal line across these. You say, why diagonal? Because we want to start making some diamond shapes. Because each time I find while cutting this, that the uh, layers, <laughs> the layers are what the walnut want to pull apart. All the layers of the fat together, or the butter, are just fine and dandy. So me just getting ready for 
my next batch of pastries to send out to Carrie for her, her quarantine packages. Quarantine gift care packages we're making. The small ones and the large ones. You guys get a little bit of everything I put in there. Hello, Gamer. Oh, part of my little cat here. Just come to see what's all in the toys up on here. Okay, here we go, guys. So there you go. So that's a good, good look at that. So we got it all nice and cut and ready to hit the oven. There's my oven chimney, while well, in she goes. So I'm going to push that aside until we're ready to fire it in. In the meantime, I'll uh, work off our dough here and get into our, my uh, recipe here for this cast iron skillet. Uh, a whole lot more dough than I expected. Uh, my buddy was telling me, uh, oh, I see, that's why, okay. Large cast iron skillet, which I'm quite fortunate to have. My son bought for me last year. He bought me a set of uh, five of these. One says a ten inch. Well, that's just fine there. I'm happy with that. Okay, so what did they say? I think they said a little bit of. Uh, I like it, so I, I, I know I like to play with a lot of things, but sometimes I'm not overly confident until I've tried the recipe a couple of times. And, yeah, we'll find out today. So we're going to lightly boil a 10 12 inch, preferably cast iron, which it will be. <laughs> so we've got some olive oil here. Well, oh, no, this is regular oil. This guy. Right. Just about. I don't really talk about that, it's just because it's going to get it's, it's a little sticky. It's not a little, it's a lot sticky. <laughs> Yeast and this, the fresh herbs. What do they recommend here? Recommend, recommend, recommend. Where are we at here? Where are we at? I'm just going to. in here. There's some vegetable on the bottom and olive oil on the top. Just a light layer, just a little drizzle. Use my hands. Spread it on. And we'll let that sit for a bit. Let it go for a secondary fermentation and then we'll be off into the oven baking. Okay, I'll get you guys in a moment. I'm going to start getting ready for the next one. 